Hey everyone, it's your boy Just a Freak, and as you can see, it's time for a new manga haul. I got this table full of boxes, and we're gonna have a lot of work to do in this haul. So, yeah, what can I say? Let's stop talking and let's get cracking. Give me some. First, let's take a look at uh, some of the manga that is already unboxed. Um, so, this one is I Am a Hero, and uh, basically, uh, these are three side stories from uh, the I Am a Hero universe. Um, these are done by three different mangakas, so basically, each one uh, did his take. On a spin off for uh, I Am a Hero. Um, if you don't know, I Am a Hero, that's basically a zombie apocalypse manga uh, where the main character is a crazy guy, I could say. Yeah, he's definitely crazy and he's not the only one. And in my opinion, it's a pretty good, pretty, pretty good series. I read it and I enjoyed it a lot. So I notice that we have this and they weren't printed in English so um, I after I saw them in a haul um, in a photo actually on Twitter on my Twitter account on someone that I follow from Germany I noticed that they have it in German so since I can read German not that good but I can manage and um, as you may know, if you followed the channel before, I've been um, doing it in the past. So I've been buying uh, German manga just to have it as a practice and also to enjoy some series that are not in English. So I was really happy when I found that out and I picked up this tree. And uh, now I can finally read more content from uh, I Am A Hero because the main story was kind of cut off near the end and we got an ending an ending but it wasn't I think what the magaka actually uh, envisioned but due to a tragic incident in his life he had to do it that way I don't hold any thing against him I understand but yeah it's nice to have this tree so this is I am a hero Nagasaki I am a hero Osaka and I am a hero Iba, Ibara, Ibaraki and uh, I think that this one if I'm not mistaken is done by the same guy that also does uh, Jagan that's another manga that I was hoping for us to get in English but we didn't now I still have one more German manga and after that I'm done with the German stuff and this is another series that I read before but we never got an English print for it and uh, they had it and I was watching it for a while on um, on book depository but lately it looks like it got out of print so I jumped in on Amazon day and I picked it up because I really enjoyed this series and I want to reread it because it was a while and um, I love the art in this one. It's pretty, pretty dark. It's a horror series, a slasher horror series, but I enjoyed it a lot. And if you can uh, manage to, to get it somehow, uh, read it in English in digital or even in another language, I recommend it. It's, it's a one volume horror series, pretty, pretty cool. And, now let's move to this one. So this one is uh, Bake Monogatari. Um, actually Monogatari, because this is the first box set. And if you saw my collection video, I'll leave a link if you didn't, right there in the corner and in the description. But if you saw it, you know that I have Kizu Monogatari. And you would ask me, why would you pick up the box? Uh, and not the rest of the volumes. The thing is that some of these went out of print from time to time. This whole box uh, box set was out of print for a while 
and they decided to reprint it. So I took advantage of that and I got this limited edition because uh, yeah, it, it was part of my plan and it's easier to get it like this. I think it's even cheaper and this way I have the first set out of three out and yeah i'm pretty pretty happy that i was able to get it because i was upset when um, when this went out of print i even got it on a sale and i'm really happy to get it i don't know i saw a lot of people that are getting this limited edition right now and i keep joking about the limited edition because it seems like every time we get a limited edition same with akira we get reprints when it gets out of stock but I wouldn't slip on it, maybe they wouldn't do another one. So if you want this light novel series, the first one in this uh, beautiful box set, pick it up, pick it up. I'm really happy that I have it. And why is it unboxed? Why I didn't wait? So <laughs> I'm gonna search my phone to see if I have a picture of how the package looked when it was delivered to my door. Um, half of it was wet and it was horrible i was too afraid to leave it like that so i opened it with the courier that brought it to me so that if something was wrong with the package i could just reject it and yeah if i find the photo of it i'm gonna add it in the editing but it was pretty pretty crazy anyway pretty happy to have finally have this one i'll see what i'll do with the first uh, first volume because now i have it double maybe i'll gift it sell it probably don't sell it because I don't bother here in Romania. So yeah, let's see a smaller package. And let's see what we get here. And it looks like we have knights. So I think that I had this in my wish list because I thought that it was pretty cool and uh, it, that it was a chance for me to read some uh, BL. Um, because BL is not my main genre, if I can put it like that, but it's also something that I want to try, and uh, I've tried this genre in the past, so yeah, I saw this on sale recently, and it was the perfect excuse to finally get it. So this is a set of short stories, uh, I think with guys that are working on delivery or something like that anyway can't wait to try it i heard good things about it and yeah look at the cover it's it's pretty pretty cool and i know my expectation is like with eddie any other short stories it's that some of them will be good and others will or i don't know just average or something like that but anyway can't wait to try it it's, it's been a long time since I was holding up on getting this. Now let's see what we have here in this slightly bigger one. And I'm gonna ask, get my knife pin to help me with this a little, because it has some tape on it. Probably it was starting to, to rip off and uh, the guys from the post office added some tape. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So this is Helsing, the deluxe edition. This is the Bible, guys. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know. Dark Horse does this stuff where they uh, let stuff get out of print, series get out of print, and that's awful. But then they have this series like, I don't know, Blade of the Immortal, um, Berserk, Helsing, that are getting these beautiful hardcovers now, and I, I really appreciate it. One, because Helsing was out of print and I was trying like crazy to get it in those singles, and I couldn't because I'm not willing to pay a fortune for manga, but then they announced this, they released this, and look how beautiful it is. And it's not even that expensive in my my opinion. This is a four-in-one with a beautiful story. I know if you're older, you're probably familiar with Helsing, at least the anime. And damn, this is pretty bloody. Hope <laughs> that the video won't get flagged or anything, but really happy to get this. 
I should also have volume 3 somewhere because I pre-ordered that one. So yeah, if you like, um, I know, horror, seinen series, um, try this one. It's good. At least try the anime. Now let's open another one of these big ones because at least for once I would have a box where to put the rest of the packages in it so I could get my uh, hands less, uh, not hands, my house cleaner at the end of this. And then as always, pretty pretty awful at opening this. Oh, I almost cut the package. Damn, the bubble wrap is on the other way around, it seems. But look what I have here. I have the second box set for the Monogatari series. I'm just missing the third one and I'll probably pre-order that one pretty pretty soon and that way I'll have this light novel series in my collection forever so awesome 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 look how beautiful the box it is honestly I'm happy that I didn't pick up the singles beforehand because right now I would <laughs> be missing the boxes that can hold all of this um, these volumes let me get the other one just look at it look how beautiful it is let me also get it like this and like this then i'm pretty stoked to, to have it slowly 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 i'm gonna be able to have it read it all i know give my impressions and all of that stuff but I guess I'm gonna take these two boxes at least, the ones that I have and I'm gonna do an unboxing video and we can look at the covers and stuff like that. If you want to see it, stick around, hit that subscribe button and I don't know, watch out for that video. Maybe even smash that notification button so that you don't miss it. Now let's get another one of these small ones. And of course it had to to give me headaches and give me an unsatisfying unboxing waiting of the package but let's see what we have in here it's pretty heavy and it's a hardcover and this is volume 2 from Chobit so Kodansha is doing an awesome job I said this before in my hauls they are reprinting a ton of clamp series and hopefully they're gonna do this with everything and even get the license for the other ones, but they are repeating a ton of clamp series in these beautiful hard covers. Some are smaller, some are bigger. They don't have the same size, maybe, I know, that's not so good, but I'm still happy as hell because these are all clamp series that I was missing and now I can read them and have them in my collection. So look how beautiful this book is kind of reminds me a little bit of the vertical releases for um, Gundam origin but the paper quality is not that good but the volumes feels feels pretty sturdy it's not like the Vinland Saga ones if you know how those are and you probably know because those are pretty pretty popular I guess the spine will need some um, treatment, some relaxing before you read it, so do that with hard covers. But yeah, so stoked to have this in my collection. Now, now let's see. And we have volume 5 from Given. So this is something that was a recommendation from Buzz, he's been reading this series lately and he's having a lot of fun with it and he's praising it. So I gave it a try, I know that this is volume 5 but this is what I found in stock at that point and I think it also was, um, was uh, on sale so that was pretty cool, I'm gonna pick up the rest of them. 
slowly. So yeah, this is another BL series. I, it looks like I'm getting a lot of BL in uh, in this haul. I was getting a lot of Yuri in the other ones. So this is a BL series about um, some guys that are in a band or something like that. Anyway, I don't know too much about this one, so I'll need to wait and find somehow the rest of the volumes, but yeah. I hear a lot of people praising this and uh, I have pretty high hopes for it. So given volume 5. Now let's see what we have in this one. And let's see if we can wrap this baby open. And of course I got BL, I'm also gonna get Yuri. Yuri is my thing. I noticed that I really enjoy Yuri series. So the, this is Days of Love at the Seagull Villa. Uh, and this is done by Kodama Naoko. And this is something that I was waiting for for a while because um, I read other stories, as you can see, from this manga kind. I enjoyed those, so I had um, high hopes for this one. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be reading some uh, some pretty nice Yuri in this one. Let me know if you tried it yet. I know that this is out for a month or two or something like that. Stuff gets I know, harder to Romania. So let me know if you enjoyed it and what was your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. I'm pretty curious how you guys feel about it. I also think that, oh, so that's almost inappropriate, but I guess it is, it's censored, so uh, yeah, I, I know some people that are getting this, uh, Yusef is getting this, and uh, he was also stoked about it, and by the way, he also has a YouTube channel, so check him out, he has some pretty big holes in that one. Now let's see, what do we have in here, and we have Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 4, pretty pretty nice as you know in my latest hauls i think the ones from this year only i started to get rent a girlfriend i saw the anime i enjoyed that a lot i don't even know if we're gonna get a season two or anything but i also want to read the manga so far from what i read i think i read two volumes uh it's kind of one-on-one -on -one with the anime so if you're okay with just knowing that part of it I know then maybe it's no use to pick up the manga but uh, I also find the manga experience pretty nice and I actually was asked this I was asked this question recently if I also read the manga if I saw the anime and uh, I do I do because the experience is different and some uh, in sometimes it's also different in content so yeah so far I'm enjoying this and um, I'm happy to be able to get back to one of the greatest waifus of 2020. Now let's see what I have in this. And we got volume 14 from Slam Dunk. So I think I'm just missing one. I'm missing, just missing one. I don't know if Buzz has them all, but if I'm also able to get that one and I still have a couple of small packages and if I still, if I'm able to get that one and he doesn't have them all, it means that I win. I, I don't think he's loses, he's losing anything because this is only my game, but damn, I'm enjoying this series so much, so yeah, now, now I know why uh, people are <laughs> so hyped about Slam Dunk. I mean, the amount of sweaty guys in this series is off the charts, so of course everyone would actually really enjoy this. But anyway, enough with the joking, uh, I'm not a sports fan or anything like that. I don't watch sports, I never was interested in sports, I played some basketball in, um, I know, not high, in, in high school actually, and uh, I wasn't too into it, I'm not into sports as I said, but 
Damn. While reading this during some matches, my heart was racing and <laughs> my heart was racing and damn, it's 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 pretty good. I I can understand why people are the anticipation and all of that stuff is is amazingly done and it was funny i actually posted on instagram a picture of those panels before a match takiko inoue uh, broke the fourth wall and he was one of the persons that were going to to see the match and uh, everyone saw it and he said oh my god oh my god it's the mangaka it's the mangaka it's going there let's get an autograph and <laughs> Of course, he was running of that and all of that stuff. But anyway, yeah, I found it pretty funny and I posted it on Instagram. And damn, I'm enjoying this so much. I'm at volume 21, 22 right now. Can't wait to read the rest. I I don't want this to end, to be honest. But after that, I think I'm going to get into real. So yeah, more important than that. I don't know if boss has it all. And if I get another volume, I'm gonna have it complete in my collection before him. So, fingers crossed. Now, let's see what do we have in this one. And another Yuri series, A White Rose in Bloom. And this is by Asumiko Nakamura. And I think that this is the same mangaka that did Utsubora. And... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked about about this one because I loved that series and I love the art and everything and yeah, it looks like it. I, it looks like it's that art. And if I'm mistaken or anything, it's gonna be so I'm gonna feel so ashamed. But it looks like it, and I'm gonna probably read this um, after the haul. Or I know it's pretty late. I think it's 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm so I, I was waiting for this for a long time now. And let's see what we have in this other. Yes, 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 yes. So this is Slam Dunk Volume 8, and now I think that I have it all. I have it all. Let, let me check. I checked. This was the last volume that I was missing. Finally have it all in my collection. Oh my God. So at some point, some of the vo volumes were out of stock and I was worried that it's gonna take a long, long time before I actually manage to, to get all of this, but I have it all. And probably before Buzz did, because he was pushing this so hard on me to actually try it and read it and that's, he was one of the persons, not the only one. A lot of people were telling me to to read Slam Dunk. I, I know that a lot of you were saying, but he was continuously saying on Discord how good this is. And I said, I'm gonna get two volumes, try it. Probably I'm not gonna like it, but it's so good. And I have it all and probably before he did. So that's pretty, pretty funny. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check on Discord right after this video and add something in um, while editing to let you guys know. But I'm so happy that I have it all. I'm probably gonna finish it this month because um, I'm close to the end. I don't want to finish it, but I'm glad to have a complete, this series complete in my collection. Fuck yeah. Now, let's see, I think that this is, no, we still have one smaller package before we get into the last big box. And that one was pretty heavy, so I think I, yeah, I know what should be in that one. And this is Car Captor Sakura. This is the collector's edition. And this is volume six, as I was saying, Kodansha is printing clamp series and uh, yeah we got this even better treatment for uh, car captor sakura and i'm so happy because this is one of the series that uh, whenever i don't know i feel down or anything like that i 
just don't feel in my waters. If I read some of Card Captor Sakura, I'm just gonna feel better. That's how it works. It's so cute that you feel better by just reading it. And it looks like we also got a card here. And that's pretty cool. Let me also show you some art. By the way, the the volume quality in this one is pretty, pretty high. And as you can see, art wise, it's also also pretty beautiful. Now I know that these hard covers can be a little, a little bit more expensive than usual volumes, but honestly, I, I prefer something like this if I if I'm able to get it. And this look amazing in the collection and the story is so wholesome. So yeah, slowly, slowly, we're gonna get all of Card Captor Sakura in the collector's edition and hopefully uh, they're gonna do something similar for uh, the sequel of this series. So Card Captor Sakura collector's edition volume six. And now to the last package let's see what do we have here and we have another Yuri series and this is Adachi and Shimura I know that someone was telling me over and over again to read this to try this to try this and I had this pre-ordered it it just took so long for me to actually get it so yeah I'm pretty hyped about this one, it was recommended a lot, it also has an anime but I was trying not to watch the anime until I try the manga, because I tend to prefer to do that, first read the manga if possible and only after that the anime, but yeah this looks pretty pretty good and I can wait to try it, you guys know that I like my Yuri and yeah, this looks pretty pretty nice. Nice. I, I, I have some Yuri's to I finished Slam Dunk. I, I have Monogatari. I got a lot of cool stuff in this haul. I, I don't know what you think. Let me know. Let me know down below. And now let's get to the last package. So, yeah, be, before I open this package, let me thank Pake because he helped me get this one. Um, in my last haul, during my pickups, I lately I tend to do premieres for the hauls, and uh, with those, the the nice thing about them is that you have a chat and you can talk with the people that are seeing the video live there with you. And I'm having a lot of fun talking with all of you guys, and I hope that you also have fun. But I was picking some things, and you guys were telling me to try to pick something, try to pick something, try to pick something. And I was just saying that it's out of print and I cannot do it. And after the video, Pake told me on Discord, he pinged me and he told me that he saw that series in a, a, a local uh, used bookstore in his country. And uh, that he's going to give me a link to take a look because the shipping is not that crazy and I might want to get it. Of course, I jumped in there and uh, I saw it and I bought it, of course. So thanks for <laughs> helping me get this and thanks for um, killing my wallet because uh, besides that, I also picked two other series and that's what we have in this box. So let's see. And as you can see, it's Black Cat. And let's get all of the wrapping and start looking at the volumes. Okay, so let's take a look. So, as you saw, I was able to get Black Cat and this is volume one. And these volumes are in a pretty, pretty nice shape. They look, I know, almost like new and I'm pretty happy with them. And let me show you some art and if you if you didn't knew this is from the same guy that um, is doing two love room so if you're a fan of uh, kentaro yabuki 
you would probably like this one. I expect this one also to be pretty etchy because um, he's well known for that. He's the guy who draws the perfect uh, anime titties. And um, when I say anime titties, I'm referring of the actual boobs. I heard stories about him being the one that um, set a standard in the industry. But enough of me talking about um, anime titties. And let's talk a little bit about Black Cat. So, as I said, it's from the same guy. Um, this is, I think, has a couple of volumes out of print and harder to get. And um, it's basically the story of uh, this guy over here that um, he uh, went by the code name, I think, Black Cat. And... Um, he went by that code name in a, an organization uh, made of um, assassins, killers, professional killers. And he was one of the best killers that they had. But suddenly one day he decides that he doesn't want to do that anymore. And um, he decides to quit. But of course that you cannot quit for something like that. So his life... Um, his normal, simple life uh, will stop at a point because he's gonna be targeted and all of that stuff. And that's from where the story starts. This was running in Shonen Jump, as you can see, for a while now. I think uh, that this is pretty, pretty old. I actually haven't checked. Oh, it, it, uh, it has... Uh, slam dunk on it so probably they were releasing this at the same time this is an older shonen jump series that a lot of people are saying good things about it and it got me interested also because i like uh, to love room and lately it was getting a lot of hype a lot of hype from the community i saw people picking up people talking about it and I knew that it was out of print and out of reach because usually it's hard to get um, out of print stuff here. But again, Pakia helped me up and hooked me up with uh, this one. And I'm so grateful because damn, it's an out of print series. It was cheap and it's like new and it's something that I wanted to read. And uh, I, I never, I, I knew that I never could, at least not in paperback in a physical format so thanks again pretty pretty happy with this one and I don't know look how beautiful this um, I know small pyramid of manga looks pretty pretty cool what do you think would you get black cat let me know down below and now to the other complete series that is out of printed and I was able to get is an old BL series called Gravitation. A lot of people are saying so many good things about this and um, Bizarre Individual talked about this uh, a couple of times and he says that he's one of his favorites. And this is an older series, I think it's from the 90s. And uh, yeah, I was always interested in this one. This is kind of similar to Given because, again, it involves a group of guys and it's also a musical manga. So, yeah, let's take a little bit uh, a closer look at the art. As you can see, it has an older art style in it. You can figure that out from, uh, from uh, I don't know, their haircuts the uniforms and all of that stuff but then it doesn't look outdated i don't know maybe it's me but it doesn't look outdated and all i think it aged well and yeah gravitation this is was published by tokyo pop a couple of years ago and it was out of print and now i have it it was dirt cheap so i'm pretty grateful for that because um as you know, manga collecting is not a, it's not a cheap hobby. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty
pretty stoked to have this one. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna read it with Bizarre Individual. Maybe at some point he's gonna be in the mood to reread it. I'm not saying all of it, but at least he, maybe he would like to read a volume or two together to body read it with me since uh, he likes this one a lot. And yeah, pretty, pretty stoked to have this one. So as I was saying, because I think that this came from Norway, was it Norway or Finland? I always mess that up. Sorry for that, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, when I saw the other two BL series, I was thinking, man, I think I got as much BL series as I have in my entire collection, but you know that, I don't know, when, when, when I want to try something, I'm just diving into it, and yeah, I have the whole run, 12 volumes, can't wait to to give it a try let me know if you read gravitation let me know what you think about this one because as i said i saw only good opinions about it and the only concern that um, some people were saying was that the art may be outdated since it's an older series but in my opinion it uh, it aged well so yeah pretty happy pretty happy and the last series that I got is also an out of print series, again done by Tokyo Pop, one of their older releases. And this is also complete. And um, it's only two volume and it's called X Day. And I don't know, this was 10 euro, I think. And uh, I'm not gonna pass the chance to read something if it's just that cheap and complete. And uh, I was actually stoked, stoked by looking at the covers. After that, I checked a little bit of the art online and it looked pretty, pretty cool. And I also checked a little bit of the synopsis and it's about a group of high schoolers that are kind of lost in their lives and they are just finding each other and start to hang together. And I guess they're trying to get a grip on it. So, yeah, from that, it sounds like uh, something that I would enjoy a lot. And uh, I don't know, maybe this is a, and maybe this is a pretty good find, something that I will enjoy a lot and I never even knew it existed. So, yeah, synopsis look pretty great. The art looked great and it's only two volumes and only 10 euros. So not gonna pass on a deal like that. So yeah, guys, this was my haul for uh, April. As you can see, I got a ton of manga and also some light novels over here. So a ton of stuff to read and add into my collection. I completed series. I actually completed a series that I never thought that I would complete. I completed Black Cat in one go. And uh, I also completed Slam Dunk, hopefully before Buzz, I keep saying that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I think this is over 60 volumes in here. So pretty, pretty nice uh, haul, pretty big one. And yeah, hopefully you liked it and you enjoyed um, this type of content. And if you did, please leave a like and share this with your friends on social media and all of that stuff, because it's going to help this channel a lot and it's gonna help this uh, this thing grow bigger and bigger and uh, yeah if you're new here and you like this kind of content and you also enjoy uh, figures anime games trading card games like magic i'm doing all of the nerdy stuff on this channel so hang around click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to always be notified when i put out a video and i don't know can't wait to dive into all of this and I guess that and I hope that I will see you in my next video and until then go reach your manga. Bye bye.